Today, there is only one real promotional uh, option for elite professional MMA fighters, the UFC. The reason that there's only one option is that the UFC has systematically shut down its competitors over the years and uh, essentially prevented any real competitive alternative promotion from coming into the market. Tell us, what does it mean to you, the suit? Well, it means everything. It means the progression of a sport that I helped build and uh, the potential income that I will continue to uh, earn for my notoriety. And now what do you hope to changes in the sport because of the suit? I want this sport to be fair, open, unfettered, and uh, in a free competitive marketplace. I'm just uh, honored to be part of this uh, this lawsuit against uh, UFC uh, for all the the past UFC fighters like Carlos Newton and uh, Nate. Quite often, any journalist that actually stood up for something that may not portray the UFC in the brightest light was frowned upon. They may have had their credentials taken. So it takes bravery for all of you to be here. And a big thank you to, to these great firms that we're working with, and especially Carlos Newton, for being one of the driving forces in making this happen with his passion. And for Kung Lee as well for, for stepping up while he's still under contract with UFC. I've received so many messages from fighters who wish to remain anonymous, but who are putting their full support behind this case because they know that the, what will come their way won't be the most favorable thing. So for Kung to stand up while he's still under contract says quite a bit. I think the main reason that I signed on to be a part of this is just to see change. Change for the athletes, justice for the athletes in the past, change for the athletes of now, and change for the athletes in the future so they don't have to come in into this industry where there's no true competition. I guess, how do you explain the damages done by the UFC? I think that will mostly come out during the court case, and you're going to see those things. And have you, as you you see the case, you'll see a lot of the instances shown there. What would you say the mood amongst other fighters when they heard about the lawsuit? Well, there's been some ramblings going on for a while about a potential lawsuit, and even throughout the years. I could talk to many fighters, cite many instances where, where fighters had said something disparaging about the UFC, about how they were treated or how we were treated in general, only to immediately be stomped on and or threatened to know their place and to keep quiet. So that's the big reason why I'm here is representing the fighters that can't speak publicly for fear of reprisal. Their fights may not be televised, they may not get a good matchup, any number of things. They, they couldn't get a fight when they want to. The, the UFC has complete control over their careers, their likeness. How do you explain this to the fans that worry that this is bad for the sport? That they're worried that it might somehow damage the sport if the loss it? I give them a big hug and let them know it'll all work out in the end. <laughs> Competition is good for the sport, it's, it's good for the fighters, and it's good for the fans.